Welcome to your Daily Shot. I'm Allie Wentworth. In my continuing efforts to get everyone a date and laid, I've invited Andrea Sertash <laughs> and Jeff Wilson here today. They are the authors of It's Okay to Sleep with Him on the First Date and Every Other Rule of Dating Debunked. So you think that the rules of dating are outdated, well, correct? Let's start with the title. All I'm saying is <laughs> in the history of the world, no guy has ever said, this woman is awesome, she's really smart, she's attractive, she's cool, she's funny. Only one problem, we hooked up on the first date. Like men just they don't, don't Never men just in don't the history care. of men. I've interviewed so many women and men who have done this and have lived happily ever after. So okay. we know we can debunk yeah. the rule. I mean, I don't you think it's really based on the people. If you have chemistry and connection, rules really don't matter. That's yeah. what we've learned through our interviews. Rules are black and white and, you know, love is in color. Do you think the rules are kind of hurting? I mean, I didn't play them, so. I think the rules cause us all to overthink things. Like, oh my God, how many hours should I wait until I text her back or whatever? And, and also, you, were, you didn't want to be inauthentic. And there's something to that. We were going back to his apartment for the first time, and I was like, well, let me tell you one thing. I'm mediocre in bed. I have a lot of cellulite. <laughs> like, I, let's just, you know. Put this on the table. Yeah, I was like, I was the opposite of the rules. I yes. was like, too much. Why well, he didn't run for the hills. And it worked and, for you. And, but not only that, I bet that's why he fell in love with you, because that's endearing, and that's also the point of our book. All right, so what okay. are the five myths uh, about dating? Okay, so we know number one is never sleep with him on the first date. Number two, women should never pursue a man if she's interested. That's a bad one. Right. It's a, <laughs> the rules have you say if you even so much look at the man first, he will automatically lose interest because we love chasing. And it's true, men do like chasing, but it doesn't mean if a woman talks to me, I'd be like, oh my God, she talked <laughs> to me. She must be desperate. I'm turning away. Like, right. that's crazy. And yeah. in online dating, especially, if you just sit back and play the dainty flower and like, wait for men to pursue you, you might get either really bored or overwhelmed. You need to be in the driver's seat a little bit. And speaking we, of online dating, online dating is for losers. That's another rule people say. And even though there's less of a stigma now than there used to be, there are millions of others who have done it, who have who have gotten married from it. Yeah. So that's totally And those totally are the people outdated. that are on, on it until 3 in the morning and just don't tell anybody, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, They're uh, closet users. Yeah, Christian yeah. Mingle, Christian Mingle. Sorry. <laughs> Myth number four. Men love bitches and nice guys finish last. We want to debunk that for yeah. good. It is not true. Kind Kindness consistently shows up as a quality people look for in a future mate. So I would hope so. I would hope so, too. And the thing is, if you attract by being a jerk, then you're going to wake up with a nightmare because you're waking up with someone who doesn't have enough self-respect to know that she should be treated better. And myth number five. <laughs> the whole he's just not that into you. Yes. I, I think that... To some extent, there's some merit to that idea that, okay, if he's consistently giving you evidence that is not working out, don't be, you know, don't be, delude yourself. That's fair. But I think so many women say, oh, the guy is just busy that night. Clearly, he's just on the end of me. <laughs> and they, and they, mean, over, they overreact to that. There are plenty of times where a guy really is busy. You women are preaching this a little too much. And our book is all about how not trusting the rules but trusting yourself. I completely agree with you. And I, I feel the best thing that ever happened to me in my life was not playing by the rules and ultimately marrying the love of my life. So, yeah. yeah. That was your daily shot. Pick up a copy, learn something. Even if you're married, it's not too late. And subscribe <laughs> to our channel at dailyshot.yahoo.com.